Hey guys, it's Zombie Greg for The Wrap here, and I'm still hanging out down at The Walking Dead Escape at Petco Park at San Diego Comic Con. And now I'm joined by Kira Sigorski from Helix. How are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Not too shabby, so you just, you're just off the plane. You I just, just got You just plane. got here, yeah. yeah. How was your trip? Everything work out good? Yeah, it was good. Easy flight. Yeah. Couple hours. Okay, so this is this is your first Comic Con, right? It's my first Comic Con. And your panel is tomorrow for Helix. Yeah. And are you nervous? Excited? What, what what's going on? What's what's the emotions you're feeling right now? <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited uh, because I've never been here before, and I just hear all of the madness is pretty um, entertaining. So I'm excited to see all of that. And I'm excited to uh, find out about some of the new things that are going to be revealed tomorrow during the panel that they haven't even told us about. Oh, so. uh, really? Yeah. L okay, interesting. So what what kind of things now I'm intrigued? Um, I think maybe some potential new characters okay. and uh, some some new mysteries to the second season. Okay, so it was a pretty crazy first season. Yeah, it was. A lot happened. You had a pretty crazy character arc. Yeah. Uh, by the end, you know, the last image is, is you. You're a super supreme being now, your silver eyes, yes. and you're the head of uh, the corp. What's it? What's the corporation? Ilaria Corporation. Ilaria Corporation. Yeah. So, what? what's happening? <laughs> you know what? That's a great question. You should come to the panel tomorrow <laughs> and ask uh, Steve and Ron. Um, Honestly, I think that uh, they did some really interesting things in that last episode because the series is shot, uh, it's just 13 days, 13 episodes, 13 mm -hmm. days. And then that last episode just jumped time. And, you know, first you see me get kidnapped by um, by the kid from Alaria, who's the bad guy, okay. the, the big bad assassin. And then um, the next thing you know, it's many, many months later and I'm in charge of the whole thing. So it was a big twist at the end of who has Julia become and she become the bad guy and yeah. what's going to happen. So honestly, that cliffhanger, I'm really not sure where <laughs> it's going to go yet. Where do you want it to go? Do you want your character to embrace the dark side or do you, yeah, are you thinking, not? yeah? Well, I, You're not like, oh, maybe this is a, a, a ploy, like she's she's doing I think, it I think there's, like undercover with yes. maybe she's going to destroy the corporation from the inside or yeah, something. Yeah, but you know, I think, there's, I think there's a few of those things going on because my character went through a huge arc last year. Um, just, I mean, it was a roller coaster, just emotionally, physically, um, all of the things that she uh, discovers about who she is and where she's from and what she is, uh, it, was, it was big. So I think that there's been a lot taken away from her that they've done to her. So she's got a, I think, you know, if you go through something like that, there's, it brings up some dark stuff and I think it's kind of fun to play into that. And then she can always still have her good side too it's, why not you know <laughs> push the envelope and yeah it all. go for it uh <laughs> we need a strong female characters out there yeah. TV. yeah so you know it's crazy the, the this tv landscape mm. is growing uh so big and there's so much good stuff on tv i mean do you ever get like sci-fi is now p putting out these really high-end great shows yeah you know uh i talked to shane west earlier from mm. salem new show on wgn like do you ever feel like, man, there's just so much out there? Like, it's like, I how do, do you... I think it's exciting, though, because, if, you know, I don't know how long ago it was, but when I first came out of graduate school, and I thought, okay, now I, I can't wait to get jumping into the film and TV side of everything. I'm a big uh, theater girl. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the industry was kind of in a different place. Yeah. And there was a lot of reality TV, and there wasn't, um, there weren't a lot of great female characters out there. There was a few. You know, you had Jennifer Garner and Alias. That was a great character. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was kind of few and far between. And now I think there's a lot of really remarkable uh, roles for women on TV. I think TV is a great place for women right now. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's a whole new generation of TV that's out there. I'm excited about TV right now. Yeah, I mean, but it, like, are you, it, it, see, because there's so much of it, are you concerned like, you know, can oh. can my show succeed? You know, can I, which obviously it is, if you're renewed or whatever, but does that ever, like kind of scare you a little in a sense at all? I guess it can, but uh, at the same time, you just have to go with what you got. And yeah. I think um, Helix did a lot of really unique things in the filmmaking that I thought, um, they did some things that I had never seen before that I thought was really cool. And I know there's a lot of shows out there about um, viruses right now, mm -hmm. um, and it's been done before. But uh, I think something that's interesting about what they've done with our show is that it's a psychological thriller as well, and it really mm -hmm. takes me to some dark places. What, what happens to a person when they're 
they're in an isolated environment, they're having, they're worried about survival. They start to do things that they wouldn't normally do in regular yeah, circumstances. Yeah, it's very character based. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I got the first script for our next season, and it takes a completely different turn. And so I think that it's it's a, it's a new location, right? It's a new setting. It is, and yeah. it's um, and it starts to turn into something a little bit even darker and more mysterious, and I oh, think wow. that's really cool. So the the show is evolving, and it's already only in its second season. So I think that's cool. That's good. It's a good sign. So it's going to be a romantic comedy if it makes it to the fifth of season. It's going to just come, keep evolving, I'm evolving. I'm going to get attacked in the shower again, and it's going to be all laughs. laughs. Kira, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, Thank you. Good luck on season two. When is it going to premiere? Do you have any idea? Uh, January 2015. Okay, cool. Tune in then.